Hey guys, welcome back to another Titus Diorama and Toy Reviews. In this video we are going to be reviewing the Marvel Legends Multiple Man from the Build-A-Figure Apocalypse Wave by Hasbro. Multiple Man comes in the standard Marvel Legends window box packaging. This allows you to see the figure and all the accessories that come within. The side of the packaging has some very nice artwork of the character and of course the back of the box has a nice product shot, has a small bio about the character and it also shows all the other characters you will need in order to build the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. With that said, guys, let's go ahead and get Multiple Man out of the packaging. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Multiple Man out of the box. First and foremost, he comes with two additional head sculpts. As you can see, he comes with one alternative masked head sculpt with a different facial expression. And then he also comes with the unmasked head sculpt. The other item in the box is of course the right leg of Apocalypse. This was the last piece I needed to build that build a figure and I will have a review for Apocalypse coming out soon. So guys, let's bring the main focus back to Multiple Man himself and the sculpting and the paintwork. I do feel like they did a really great job on this sculpt. It is a body mold that we have of course seen uh, multiple times before. Um, however, I do like the jacket and the uh, jacketed arms that are on this particular figure. Um, overall, not a lot to gripe about the sculpt. Uh, my only small gripes about this figure is the paint. Some of it is not quite spot on. Uh, as you can see on the chest area, um, the blue is bleeding through on the yellow a little bit. Uh, and if we do pull back the jacket a wee bit, you can actually see they've missed a couple um, spots of yellow and you can see blue spots coming through on the side. Um, the red X's on his masked heads aren't perfectly center, um, so that's a little bit off. And my only other gripe is the jacket does interfere with the ab crutch slightly, meaning if you try to lean him back, he doesn't go very far back due to that jacket. He wants to push back forward. So it goes a little bit, but not as far back as he would without the jacket on. Still an okay range of motion. Speaking of articulation, guys, let's go ahead and move into the articulation that multiple man has. So of course, guys, his head is on a hinge joint and ball joint. So he can look quite far down. He can look pretty far up, uh, hindered only a little bit by the collar. Uh, he doesn't have any wobble, but he can look, of course, right and left. He has a ball joint at the shoulder, which allows his shoulder to go this far up due to the sculpting. It does go this far down. It is on a ratchet and it can go a full 360. Uh, he has a swivel at the upper bicep. Um, he has double jointed elbows that only go about 90 degrees. Uh, and they do swivel at the elbow as well. He has a hinge at the wrist. So he can hinge back and forth. And of course you can swivel it around. There is no butterfly joint in this guy due to the jacket and the sculpting of the jacket. Um, we already talked about the ab crunch, about how far back it does go. He does go this far forward. He does have a hip swivel as well. He has the T-joint at the hips, uh, which allow him to do the splits that far. They can kick this far forward. They can go slightly backwards. Uh, of course, the jacket does interfere just slightly uh, with that. He does have a upper thigh cut. 
Um, double jointed knees, an upper boot cut, and his foot is also on a hinge, so you can go this far up, this far back, and he does have ankle pivot. All right, guys, so here is multiple man beside his fellow wave mates, Wolverine, Magneto, Gladiator, Sabretooth, Storm, and Psylocke. All right, guys, so typically at this point of the review, I would do an overview of just the figure in front of us. However, I'm going to do something slightly different and I'm going to do a, a bit of an overview of the entire uh, wave here and my thoughts on Multiple Man as well. Now when this wave first came out, the only figure I was really excited about was Wolverine. Wolverine's my absolute favorite X-Men and the Wolverine from this wave uh, is straight out of that X-Men animated series. So I had to have him in my collection. Of course, once acquiring him, I then ended up acquiring Sabretooth and Magneto and Storm, which meant I was halfway there for building the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure. So that led me down the road of getting Gladiator and Psylocke, and of course, I needed to get Multiple Man. It would end up being that Multiple Man would be the hardest to find, at least in my area. Uh, and, it spent, and I spent months looking for him. I kind of kicked myself in the butt because I did come across him a couple times in the early days of when this wave came out. But like I said, because I had no intention in completing the wave at that time, I bypassed him. So I have to give a shout out to my lovely wife who was able to pick up this figure for me and I'm so glad that she did. Overall, the figure is Nicely done, it's kind of a basic figure. And honestly, I didn't know much about this particular character before getting this figure in my hands. I can see why he is so hard to pick up now because his power is to make duplicates of himself. So it makes perfect sense why people would wanna pick up multiples of multiple man. With that stated guys, I am really, really satisfied with this wave and I really look forward to being able to put together the Apocalypse Build-A-Figure and do a review for you on that coming soon. Guys, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I always, always love putting these videos together for you guys. And if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button. Or also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already subscribed and make sure you also hit the bell notification so you can be updated on any new content that I put out on my channel. And as always guys, stay nerdy.